fundamentals training department. I've engaged the autopilot to keep us level and on course. Manage the throttle to maintain airspeed about 200 knots. In this flight, we will overview the primary controls in the cockpit used to work with the various flight and combat systems of the ATC. You can pause the mission at any point by pressing the pause key. Set the mission to active pause mode by pressing left shift plus left wing plus pause key. To exit the mission at any point, press the escape key. You can use the numpad keys to pan the view around and press the numpad asterisk and numpad forward slash keys to zoom the view in and out. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to begin. The A10C utilizes hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS controls to allow the pilot to manipulate primary avionics controls without taking the hands off the stick and throttle. This saves time and eases the pilot's workload but it also means the stick and throttle feature a lot of buttons that require practice to use effectively. In addition, the A10C cockpit is designed to minimize the time the pilot spends head down to work the avionics. Many of the displays and avionics controls are presented on the upper part of the cockpit, where the pilot needs to only glance down to find the necessary control or display information. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. Let's review the whole task controls available on the stick and throttle. Buttons and switches on the control stick include two-stage gun trigger, weapons release button, master mode control button, MMCB, target management switch, TMS, data management switch, DMS, countermeasure switch, CMS, nose wheel steering button, NWS, aircraft trim control app. On the dual throttle, buttons and switches include Mic switch, speed brake switch, boat switch, china hat switch, coolie switch, slew control, autopilot button, pinky switch. While we will use some of these controls as part of this lesson, there will not be enough time to practice with all of them. You will need to reference the aircraft documentation for a complete diagram of the hotels, as well as the keyboard shortcuts for all of the commands. Our goal today is to understand the fundamental concept of HOTAS control in the A10C and not the many functions of all of the buttons and switches. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. The cockpit includes three primary displays, the head-up display HUD on the top of the cockpit frame and the left and right multifunction color displays MFCDs on the front panel. The MFCDs feature 20 option select buttons, OSB, around each display, starting with OSB 1 in the upper left corner and moving around the display clockwise. The function of each OSB is identified on the screen and depends on the page being displayed. OSBs 11 through 15 at the bottom of each MFCD set the primary page of the display. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. Because the avionics package of the A10C is quite complex and features a number of different systems, it's impossible to include an individual HOTAS button on the stick and throttle to cover all the necessary controls. This problem is overcome by designating a sensor of interest, SOI, which allows the pilot to set which sensor he wishes to command with the HOTAS. The SOI can be set between the HUD and either MFCD page by the pilot as necessary at any point using the coolie switch on the throttle. All HOTAS commands in the cockpit are provided a keyboard alternate. In the case of the coolie switch, these will be H for coolie left, K for coolie right, U for coolie up, and J for coolie down. Before trying to use these commands, it's also important to remember that some HOTAS commands, including the coolie switch, have a different function depending on whether they are pressed and released quickly, short press, or held down for a couple of seconds, long press. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. The right MFCD is currently displaying the targeting pod TGP page. 
The TGP is set to standby mode at mission start. To begin exploring HOTAS controls, let's first set the TGP to air to ground mode AG by pressing OSB2 on the right MFCD. You now have three primary sensors displaying information in the cockpit. The HUD, the Tactical Awareness Display TAD page on the left MFCD, and the TGP page on the right MFCD. Notice that both MFCD pages include a not soy message overlaid on the screen. This means neither display is set as soy. The default setting at mission start is for the HUD to be soy. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. When the HUD is soy, it is indicated by an asterisk key on the left side of the HUD. We'll now try some HOTAS commands with different sensors set as soy. First, while keeping the HUD set as soy, Try moving the slew control on the throttle. Keyboard commands for slew control are semicolon for slew up, period for slew down, comma for slew left, and forward slash for slew right. As you move the slew control around, you will see the target designator cue TDC move on the HUD. Nothing will change on the MFCD pages. Move the TDC around the HUD, and then press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Now let's set the TAD page on the left MFCD as our SOI. Press and hold the Cooley Switch left command or the H key on the keyboard to perform a long press of the button. because I can't get it to work.